Hey YouTube, it's your boy Witcher here, coming in with some more Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition. I've got another casting game for you here, submitted by Robrot. The number one, I'm going to say it right now, the number one Spanish player in the game is playing against Grogu here on the south part of the map in the Cyan. And of course, Robrot here, the Spanish in the pink top part of the map. So... We're going to see how this goes. Very high ELO players, of course. Robrot, I believe, at the moment. Correct me if I'm wrong, Robrot, if you are watching. But top 10 at the moment. Around definitely over 2,000 ELO. 100%. Grogu here on the south part of the map. Around 1,900 ELO. A little bit lower. But very, very high level game here, guys. Pretty much as high as you can get it and hopefully you're going to be able to learn something here also myself as well but it's something scary i've got to say going against robrot you know main spain if you look at the stats you can go on aw3 explorer if you look at the stats of robrot he solidly plays spain on the ranked ladder so very very scary and let's see if this one goes down so grogu here going to be grabbing a treasure taking down this musketeer going to be grabbing 50 coin here and he has his first card available and a few more changes with the Brits, hopefully in the next patch. This is something quite interesting, actually, going for the two settler card. So rather than going for Greenwich Time or three, 300 Wood or even the um, Distributivism, that's also an option for the Brits. If you want to go for like a Virginia Company boom, we are actually seeing two settlers, which is interesting. I don't know if this is kind of like the meta now at the moment, going two Vils. I don't know whether it's worth it, but we do see Grogu's going to be trying to take down another treasure here. Going to be playing the treasure game here with the bears, but he doesn't want to lose his explorer here. Quite a lot of damage being taken. Only 100 HP. He's going to be able to crack shot one of them. And one more left, and he'll be able to grab the 90 wood treasure. But I think he's going to just leave it for now. Let's have a quick look over at Robrot here, see what he is up to. We're going to see his deck right now. This is the C deck. So he does have two caravels. He has a frigate in age three. And of course, the good old Spanish gold. But yeah, pretty much standard robot here. Going for capitalism first card. Going to be getting that nice coin trickle. Most likely allowing him to perfectly get into age three. So I assume, I always assume, but I'm going to assume that we're going to be seeing some age three fast fortress stuff from robot here. And he is aging up with the governor. Going to give him an outpost and 200 coin 40 coin he's going to be able to snag here as well on the treasures and i think grogu is actually coming back for the bear i think i think he's waiting for the crack shot to be available and then he's going to be going for it and he's been getting 90 wood there really really nice transition is now on for grogu as well going to be aging up with the governor as well so outpost and 200 coin for him Going to be sorting out his herds, and I imagine, yeah, we're going to be seeing market first, so most likely going to be getting the foreign logging, um, which is the woodcutting upgrade. No, no, sorry, it's not foreign logging, it's gangsaw. Apologies to get the woodcutting upgrade, hunting dogs for the food. And I imagine he's just going to start building houses. I don't think he's going, He's not. has not got the Virginia company in here at all, but still relatively standard deck, as we can see here. And yeah, he's going to be building houses. There they are. There they go down. And there it is. Exactly that. Look, gang saw and hunting dogs. Look, guys, I've, look, I'm, I'm a professional. All right. There's so many games that I've casted. I, I just know what these players are doing. It's a shame I can't really put it to practice when I actually play games on the ladder. I seem to just turn to jelly and I'm just useless. Uh, maybe not 100% useless, but yeah, not as good as these players maybe one day but the crack shot coming in there gonna be getting 45 xp as well so that's nice to see where is the outpost going that is the true thing is he gonna be quite aggressive he looks like he's going quite beyond where he's going here and oh hang on a minute we got two outposts coming in to the middle of the map here but it looks like as grogu he hasn't spotted the outpost but he's backed it off He's backed it off and he's decided that he's actually going to put it defensively. That's really strange. I don't think he actually had vision at all of that outpost. Robot here has actually gone for the outpost on the water. But I don't think he's actually scouted that Grogu is going for the sea at all. I think he's just done it just in case. 
Um, you never know. I, I don't think he's going on water. I mean, I'm sure we'll find out. But I don't think he is. Hang on a minute, though. Three vills are coming down. And 700 wood is coming in. Maybe that's going to be for some uh, a barracks, potentially, and a dock. Um, kind of an interesting one here from, from Robrop. And we can see... The, uh, the age up is actually on for Robot now. He's going to be getting straight into age 3. Look how quick that is. 5 minutes 25. He's going to be going for the Scout, which I believe gives him the Hussar shipment. And yeah, Grogu is just creating those houses, baby. He's got 7 nearly on the way. He's got a batch of Musketeers as well coming in. And yeah, he's basically just gone 700 wood, 600 wood. And I imagine the next card after that is most likely going to be 5 Settlers, just to really improve his eco. And yeah, it's the Barracks going down here and is he going to be able to get some harassment in here before the barracks goes up i'm not entirely sure he is going to be met with the explorer though and having to deal with the dogs we all know the hardship of playing against a spanish player when when the explorer pops the dogs man it's uh yeah it's triggering it's triggering to say the least but he's up on 26 fields right now grogu and Yep, yeah, just producing musketeers. Now going to be going for a stable. So really going for musk-hus combination here. Getting the five settlers. That's what I mentioned was most likely going to be the next card. And Robot now doing what Robot does. Transition is going to be getting the Rodoleros. He loves the rods. And if you don't know, it's the unique unit from the Spanish. Essentially a pike unit. Very, very fast. High hand attack damage. High base hand attack damage. So actually they're quite good against uh, skirmishes if you can catch them out. And he's actually going to cancel it, though. He's gone for the cancel. And he's holding that card. Let's have a look quickly at his vision here. So, yeah, we can see that he he uh, he has got himself a batch of musketeers. And he's just going to use that to try and defend here the best he can. He's going to hold that card. So, don't know what we're going to be seeing here. Maybe Lancer's coming in for the first card here. Let's see what it is. Age up is in. The Hussars are here. Um, it would make sense, potentially, to go for Rods. No. Two Falconets. Two Falconets on the way. See, I can't predict everything, guys. I can't predict everything. But he does have some Musk Hus now for himself. And let's have a look quick at Grogu here. Grogu. Yeah, look, he's trying to really go for that, that sort of double production here. And he's managed to get nearly both batches of Musk. But he's unfortunately going to be short on the Hussars. He just doesn't have the Eco yet. He's got 36 fills. But he hasn't got the eco to produce double double batch musk and hussar. Hussars are really expensive. 120 food, 80 coin. And I don't know whether he's going to think about either going for further unit shipments here or whether he's actually going to go 700 coin perhaps and maybe think about aging up himself. But I mean, he's continuing with the unit production. That says to me that he probably isn't. But now we do see the classic timing push here of Spain coming in. Two Falconets, Musketeers. No upgrades on the Musketeers, however. Kind of interesting to see that. We do see Robrot fully on food here. Oh, I tell a lie. There it is. The upgrade is on the way. He's going to push even before that is coming in. And we do have five Lancers to come in as well. So quite scary here. Going to be just taking down the outpost here. And Grogu really needs um, Cav here. He needs Cav. He's going to be... Uh, looks like Robot was trying to train some dogs there from the Explorer, but he's actually decided not to. Some Hussars are coming out. Looks like Grogu is going to be getting Great Coat and the Blunderbuss for his Vils, just to keep them as safe as possible. 700 coin has come in. That's what I predicted. My predictions are pretty on point this cast i must say this is unfortunate though grogu getting really caught off on the edge of the map here this is not what you want to do i'm afraid falks are going to be taking some great pot shots at the musketeers here and the lancers are going to try and get stuck into some veals here on the right hand side but grogu managing to get his musketeers out of the way further popping here perfectly on top of the lancers but remember these are Lancers, they're, they're good against infantry. They have three times damage. And Grogu in a sticky situation here. He's only got Hussars being trained right now. And this is really not going too well for him. Robot feeling pretty good about this. Going to be taking down Arax now as well. And it just shows how perfectly executed you can do uh, like a fast fortress with Spain. And, and how 
perfectly timed it was getting up at five minutes 25 getting up starting to get up into age three and just seeing the timing attack absolutely devastating all military buildings apart from the barracks here for grogu has been taken down and yeah he's forced to stay in age two he's got a musk shipment on the way here he's just producing pure musks right now that's all he can do and robot decided you know don't have to overcommit never overextend wait for that next unit ship and, and then smash them again we can hey, see um we've got the dogs in here now five dogs and rodoleros have come in and they've come from the outpost nine rodoleros coming in now they're going to do some decent damage and looks like he's going to be taking down this barracks here all oh, those musketeers just popped out of the barracks to be absolutely destroyed by the falconets that barracks is going down grogu in a really really sticky situation but this is just pure class and there it is there's the gg absolutely crisp a crisp spanish ff i expect nothing less from robot but guys i thought i wanted to get this cast down and, and really you know big thanks to robot for providing the replay i did try and get this live on the ladder but for some reason i couldn't get into the game and spectate it but luckily robot was around and he sent me the replay which is awesome and it just shows you the power of spain and their ff and, it, and if you're like robot and you've played countless games and, and you get to a point where you just you just know it inside out and and how clean this was as clean as anything and it really made grogu look like a a very low player which which he's not i mean definitely over 1900 elo player we're not talking bad at all i think it was unfortunate being caught here just south of the coin mine that was really unfortunate a very sort of bad positioning could it have been different potentially needed those hussars to get onto the falconets that would have been the key there weren't any rodoleros at the time which you know wouldn't have been a threat so there is that potential but i don't know what could grogu have done better here make sure to let me know down in the comments below what could he have done better to try and deal with robrot's huge spanish timing ff so guys hope you enjoyed it of course let me know what you think and i will catch you in the next video on the next stream Catch you later, guys. Bye.